So you might want to go ahead and actually bring in your BIOS files inside of your particular you know, Delta emulator. Now, whether you're on Android or iOS, it's a very basic process. But the very first thing I'm going to have to kind of tell you all is that you will, I will recommend doing it legally. So grab your Nintendo DS, go ahead and dump your files straight from your DS that you have and do it that way. I will not be telling you whether you can get them online or not. So just, you know, you can figure it out on your own, but I would recommend doing it the legal way, which is grabbing your DS and dumping the files. Now, once you actually do have the files on your particular iPhone, it's very easy to go and actually bring in the you know, thing. If it's a zipped file, like I have my zip file right here, what I recommend doing is just tapping onto the zip file right here, and then you can go and find that file. It may be zipped, it may just be a regular you know, file as it was before. And you can see you can go and bring it in it's right inside my downloads folder file right here. So once you have that zipped up file or unzipped file, what you then want to do is you want to make your way over into your Delta emulator. What you want to do once you have this up, you want to click on your settings application, little settings icon right up here. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to scroll down until you see a little option that says something like Nintendo DS under core services or core settings. You want to go and find Nintendo DS, which is right here. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and basically scroll down until you see this little option right here that shows your BIOS files. So what you're going to want to do here is you want to go and bring in BIOS 7, you know, that bin. It's going to open up your files app. What you want to do is you want to go inside of that, you know, file that we had before. In this case, this is recents. But in this case, we'll just go back to browse. So there's that file for me. I can go and tap on it and I can go and click on search and I can type in like the name of that file, which was BIOS, you know, and you might have to tap into your system file, but you can start seeing all these .bin files. What you want to do is you want to look for the BIOS, you know, seven file. You can also search for it at the very top or you can just scroll through and find the file this way. And when you find the BIOS seven .bin file, you can just tap on it just like this and that will be set. Now what you can do is you can scroll down and do the exact same thing for the BIOS nine file. So click on, you know, browse, you can find that, you know, file wherever that file is located. You can find it this way. And for, and for us, here's that BIOS 9 file. Do the exact same thing. Grab the file there. And finally, we have our firmware.bin. So it's the same exact location. You can click here, I can drive. Here's that firmware.bin file. I can go and tap on there. And that is basically it. You have now basically imported all of your particular BIOS files into your Delta emulator. And now you can use your emulator as you normally would. And that's essentially how it's done. It's a very, very basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.